Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. Today we're covering the 2022 Leaving Cert Higher Level Paper 2, Question 1. Let's have a look at the question. First of all, we need to fill in the table, very straightforward. The second part then, we need to use one of the probability rules for independent sets. So let's go about filling in the table. First of all, we need to subtract 15,707 from 22,714. We get the intermediate value here. Over here, we're going to subtract the 2,922 from the value below. And over here, we add them up. Okay, so let's see what we get. So that's the table completed. And we're going to use these values now in the next part. One student is picked at random. Let O be the event of students which are 24 years old. So this is the column over here. 24 or older and the other event is the undergraduate and that's the row which is going across here so let's write the probability rule for independent sets so the probability of O multiplied by the probability of U is equal to the probability of O intersection probability of u you could write it like that or else we could just maybe to, uh, leave out the brackets so let's look at the actual values the so probability of o is the total down here of 8576 over 22714 and the probability of u is 15707 and that is equal to the probability of the intersection so let's look at the intersection this is where the u and the o sets intersect across here and down and we will get 29 2, 2 over the total again when we find the numbers we can see that 0 0.9 and 0 0.1286 are not equal therefore the sets are not independent let's look at the next part three people are picked at random from a class find the probability that three were born on the same day of the week so what we got to do here is just look at each event as you go. So 1 over 7 is the probability of one day in the week. If we choose another person, we need to multiply that in. As we're using the AND rule. And again, 1 over 7. So probability of A and the probability of B and the probability of C. Okay, all are the same, so it's 1 over 7 to the power of 3, which is equal to 1 over 2, 4, 3. Final part of the question 1. This one is about sets. Three-fifths of the students in a class are girls. Four boys and four girls are added. This changes the new probability of a girl to be 4 over 7 so if we have b and g unknown values we need to get two equations to solve for two unknowns so the first equation we can use the probability of a girl is equal to the number of girls over the total which is b plus g and that's equal to 3 over 5 
we cross multiply this and we get G in terms of B we can get cross multiply here and up here and we will get 5G is equal to 3B plus 3G and um, subtract your three from either side and we can get 2g is equal to 3b and therefore g is equal to 3 over 2b we can call that i let's put together the second equation so the probability of let's say the the girl okay in the second instance when we have the plus four this one would be g plus four over b plus four plus g plus four which is b plus g plus eight that's our new total and this new value is four over seven all we need to do here is cross multiply and then substitute in the value for the second okay so let's cross multiply and see what we get so we get 7g okay plus 28 is equal to 4b plus 4g plus 32 so we're going to replace the g's with the substitution up here so let's work it out so this line becomes um, 3g minus 4b is equal to 32 minus 28 is equal to 4 replace the g with 3 over 2b minus 4b get 4 so we get 0.5b is equal to 4 therefore b is equal to 8 if b is equal to 8 then 3 over 2 by 8 then g will be equal to 12 okay so that's the question one of the 2022 leave insert higher level paper two thank you for watching maths plus don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching